Sweet crib, yo. Um, it's not very sweet. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry about that. Partially cloudy with a light breeze. That's five. I usually I was going to stop my stream here, but I guess I can go on a little longer. A little extra luck. For then Linus' crib. Hey, I'll show you his crib in a moment. Oh, this is a nice letter. Wow. My sources tell me you've been poking around the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west. Of the forest lake and the stone tower, I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius the wizard. I feel bad for that joke now. Yeah, you should feel bad. It makes you a terrible person. He tries, he tries. Sincerely, <laughs> wizard. Oh, the good old wizard. I'm gonna go see him. It's a Tuesday, so... Pier shop is open. Pier shop will be closed tomorrow. It's closed every Wednesday. Looks like the ladies of the town, the mothers, will be going to exercise at Pier shop. They all have husbands already, though. Ah, uh, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediator between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred shah. How you get the point? <laughs> and you, Asap, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Oh, he's a cowboy wizard. <laughs> I mean, I expected a wizard hat, but this is rather disappointing. <laughs> Is that Gus in disguise? I don't think so. His face is a little smaller. I don't know. I feel like that's someone in disguise. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! That's the rat! Yay! Oh, you caught it! Wow! You already caught it, then. You've seen one before, haven't you? A bit sick. They call themselves the Junimos. Oh, oh. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason they refuse to speak with me. Magic power! I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Vermin. Ah, oh, they are a vermin. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Don't worry. Oh, oh, good lord. Okay, time to rummage through his crap. Uh, never mind. I don't have time. I found the note. That was very quick. Did you stop time? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We of the Junimoro are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. Loot! Loot! <laughs> I didn't have enough time! If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Oh, I'm going to be playing a Skyrim at some point. Now that... Oh, I'm going to be heavy looting. I'm a, I'm a loot, I'm a very loot-tastic person. Mm, one with force, what do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Jeez, you probably shouldn't be sniffing that. Nice. Aha, 
I'm going to be playing on legendary difficulty. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculously tough, but I played on legend before. It took me two, two out, three hours to kill a, a bandit boss when I was level like five. Come here. Jeez, that creepy face he has. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. <laughs> Look at him! Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Damn, yeah. It's rough. Here, drink up, and you can get two shot in. Let that sense of the force permeate your body. <clears throat> I'm just drinking some random stuff from a green bubbling cauldron. And it looks like I'm getting sick now. Oh. I, oh, oh, I'm dying. I'm tripping, guys. I'm tripping. Gain the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junma scrolls. Yeah, I mean, I've never been to Stardew Valley, but I think a guy dressed up as a purple cowboy with, <laughs> with special <laughs> drinks and magic powers is enough for me to stay away. Uh, I mean, I don't know. He doesn't look too shady. I'm high as balls. <laughs> oh, I was totally high as balls. Uh, no, I was even higher than the balls. <laughs> Freaky like that. Nope, they're spring onions. This is a nice friendly forest. You can just go and find leeks randomly in the ground. Nothing nasty out here. I mean, that's sewage, but don't worry. It's going, it's dripping right into the ocean. How nice. He's not shading until he smirks after you sip his drink. Pretty sure he was already doing that. That's true. When I make plenty since America, you can walk around and eat stuff off the ground. <laughs> Just ask Linus. Ah, good old Linus. It, poor Linus. He's had it rough. He told me before they chose this way of life. And they didn't choose him. So, I mean, if he's doing what he wants to, but... Can't just steal from people like that. It's not right. Um, I wonder when the potatoes will be grown. Um, that's in it. Let me, uh, clear up the farm some more. Yeah, he needs a Gillette sponsorship. Ah, uh, that's those razors, isn't it? I only use, um... Razors that have are electric. That won't like cut up my face. I don't want. I don't want to cut up face. And maybe he'll start to turn things around. <clears throat> um, I wish you could build him a house or something. I know there is a, a character in town that you can build a house for. I mean, she lives in a trailer, but... 
feel, I just feel like you should be able to build good old Linus a house. He's a nice guy after all. <clears throat> Jesus, are we ready? Dang. Uh, given presents, stuff given double presents to murder. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. I use up all my energy, all the energy, guys. Have a snack though. I made it from uh, I made the snack from an acorn and maple seed and pine cone. I'm sure it's delicious. I guess Linus can just do what he wants though. If he really if he really enjoys being out there and living in a tent, then that's fine. As long as he doesn't get carried away with things. To each their own, you know. Ooh, that sounds tasty, I know, right? Let's go and see Linus. Oh, there's worms. I need I need to dig up those worms. Get looped. I'll come back another day for that. Here's Linus at home. Hello. Yeah, there you go, horseradish. <clears throat> Turn on your fire. Enter your tent. So it feels a little cramped, but it's it's nice. It has some firewood for the fire there, some pots there for cooking as a, a sleeping bag and a book to read. It's like a nice little place. It has like crates to sit on. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. Oh, oh. Um, let me just stand back here. <coughs> I mean, a warm rain in your clothes, which are dirty. You might want to get some soap. Stanky, very stanky. <clears throat> Let me eat some some snacks to get energy back. On day nine, we have like hundreds of days ahead of us. Go all the way year three at least, and hopefully, I, I want to 100% the game. After all, my well, collection. I found uh, five, six items of all the uh, farmed and forageable goods. No, wait, not farmed goods. I guess parsnip. Oh, I need to ship a parsnip. I need to ship one. I have to put it in my box, otherwise it won't count in here. Okay. I've got herring, sunfish, sardine, and seaweed. Got four little artifacts. I haven't turned this one in. I've sold it, though. And some cheese. Yeah, holy smokes. Hey, look 
geode. Nice. I might get too low now, though. <clears throat> Some loot there. Just have to fish sitting in a box. Fish sitting in a box. What do you mean? Fish sitting in a box. I don't understand. They don't go back? Oh, oh, oh. No. I don't have any fish currently, but no, they don't go bad. This, this is like perfectly sealed, like cryo sealed uh, chest here. Nothing, no, nothing wrong at all. Nice, nice and, nice and spiffy. This isn't strong enough. I need to upgrade it. But other than that, uh, I mean, I think I can just swipe my scythe at. Scythes don't use energy after all. Made in Stardew Valley. Best boxes. In A. <laughs> yeah, they are really good boxes. Can change the color instantly, no problem. They, they, everything you put in them stays fresh forever. In fact, is there a nice, like, a nice chill blue? Like dark blue, ooh. Like icy blue, I'll keep it icy blue, I like that. Um, I take this out. I'm gonna go and fill it for tomorrow because I don't think it's raining tomorrow. I planted these like four days ago. Hmm. I like rearrange that. I'll go there. Um, where should that go? Can I put that right there? Yeah, put that there. At least trees here. Uh, actually. Can I, like, rotate that at all? There we go. That seems nice, maybe. And move this baby up a bit. So I have TV as soon as I get out of bed. Put that right there next to the fire, because wood next to fire is not a bad idea. Um, I guess I can keep that there. Rede home redecoration. It seems pretty nice. Oh, Pokemon <laughs> Marathon in bed. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Go Pokemon Marathon. Level three foraging. I got a tapper. I put that on a tree. And I get, I get sap or honey. Not honey, sap. Little sap. All right. 